color wheel theory. I did not go to school for this. But I've loved color since I was a little girl. And um, I've had this color wheel when I was teaching my kids art. When they were in, um, you know, kindergarten. Because I homeschool. Uh, you could get one of these at any art store. It's, it just explains a lot of things. First of all, the first thing it will explain to you is your primary colors. Your primary colors are colors that you get from nature. They can't be mixed. You get them from nature. And that's the blue. And you'll see like a, the red and the yellow. So think of the peace sign. It's going to come this way and out this way. So blue, red, and yellow right here, right, red, and then the yellow. Then you have your secondary colors, which would be the orange, your green, see, and then up here will be your violet or your purple. Um, those colors are made by mixing the primary colors together. You get your red and your blue will make your purple, your yellow and your red will make an orange, and your yellow and your blue will make a brick green. Those are your secondary colors. Then um, I, lear I learned the word intermediary colors, but this is tertiary colors. Yeah, it is, same thing. Tertiary intermediate colors are when you take one primary and one secondary color and mix them together. So you get, um, let me just see if I could hold this up like um, so with the purple, if you add blue, you're going to get a blue violet. And if you add red, you're going to get a red violet. With your red, if you mix it with orange, you will get a red orange. Orange mixed with red, red orange. Orange mixed with uh, yellow, yellow orange or orange yellow. <laughs> uh, then you mix yellow with green, you're going to get a yellow green. Mix the, a green with a blue, you're going to get a blue green. Uh, and so on and so forth. So you have your primary that cannot be mixed, red, yellow, blue. Then you have your secondary, which is purple, orange, and green. And then you have your intermediate colors or tertiary colors, which would be mixing one secondary and one a primary. And the and, and as I and as we've learned before, when you mix colors on the opposite sides of the wheel, they go not no. Let me let me rephrase that. When you put them next to each other, you're gonna they're gonna complement each other. They are opposite colors, so they will bring out each other. Purple brings out yellow. Yellow brings out purple. Uh, let's see, orange and green, Christmas colors. Uh, opposite sides. They are going to complement, let me hold it this way, complement each other. The only one that I say are not complementary, they're actually very, very contrasting, are the blue and the orange. Because this is a complete, blue is, is a complete cool color. And orange is a complete warm color. I, I'm very into cool and warm, the cool and warm theory. And these will definitely... Uh, contrast and, and they'll still bring each other out and make each other stand out but they will contrast um, every color can be made to warm or to cool um, the, the only way to make blue a warm color is by mixing it with green because green has yellow um, the important thing is though I don't think you can, and orange though, you cannot make orange cool. There's no way you can make orange a cool color. As soon as you make, because a blue, a blue is going to make colors cool. As soon as you put blue onto orange, it's going to turn brown. Or some variation of black or gray. Um, anytime, so again, you put them next to each other. You put colors next to each other from the opposite sides of the wheel. They're going to complement each other. If you mix them together, 
Again, if you mix these colors together, you will get a brown, a gray, or a black, some variation of that. Um, and I mean, because I learned, I learned this in art in school, and I tried to teach my kids this. I mean, is this a whole? Um, I mean, you could, go, you could go to school to learn this stuff. You can, you add black to a color, and, and this color will tell you what happens if you add black. If you add, let me just hold it better. Add black, it's going to show you down here what color you're going to get. Add white, it shows you down here what color you're going to get. Um, it shows you all the in between values of gray. Um, so you have the lighter grays here. You have the darker grays here. This is all beat up, by the way, because I use this with my kids. I've had this for like 20 years. Um, let's see what else. Okay, here's a perfect example. The green and the red are complementary, opposite sides of the wheel. You mix them together, and what do you get here? A brown. And that's going to happen with every color that you put together. Um, you add, let me see what happens. Okay, let me go to orange and try to add blue. See, look what happens when you add orange and blue. You get a gray. I don't know if that's, here you go, showing on my camera. Because I know that light is very bold. So, um, a color wheel... I think if you want to learn about how to make colors contrasting or complementary, or it, I think it's invaluable. Uh, and look at it in the back. It's going to come with what they call the triad or the tetrad, and it, sh it just shows you what happens when you mix a tint, a tone, and a shade. Because supposedly black and white are not colors. They're a tint and a shade. So... Um, this is like really interesting um you know it, it explains a lot to you so shows you what happens when you add the white the gray and the black so it just shows you and tells you information so these color wheels are really 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 cool so of course what i decided on doing today was i did this i did an orange a red and a purple you got your orange, your red, your purple. Because also, let me see if I can get this right. Half this color wheel, let me see. See, with your blue going over to your red, those are cool shades. And then you take your, even a blue green would be considered cool. So blue green to red would be cool. Blue green to the red orange is going to be your warm colors because blue green could be either. Um, I've, I've said this in one of my first videos. Everybody skin tone looks best with a certain type of color. So you can get, um, you might have a cool tone skin and you look better with cool tone colors. And you might have warm undertones in your skin and you would look better with the warm colors. Now, of course, um, with makeup, artistry, anything goes. You can do what you want. I personally don't think I look as good with warm colors as I do with cool colors. And I notice that people who like the warm colors will tell me, oh, no, you look better with the warm. Um, but I know when I put these, if I could take two pictures and put them together, I know I look better in the cool colors. Um, so basically, you can use any color you want, but... Again, you can warm them up by adding orange or maybe a little bit of yellow. You can cool up the color a little bit by adding blue. But just remember that when you mix an, uh, uh, like an orange and a blue color, you're going to get a, like a brown. So so let me just say if you, the best way to, to do all of that with would be anywhere from red to green. Try to stay away from the orange and try, you can't cool it off. You cannot cool off an orange is the ultimate in warm colors. Um, so yeah, um, you know, just, just know that. And then uh, the blue, you can warm it up a little by adding, you know, a green or a yellow. You're gonna get some sort of a blue green. You know, but again, if you put more blue in a blue green, it's gonna be cool. Yellow or green is gonna be warm. So, you know, these are things that 
you know, you need to, to learn it or, or you could, you, you know, I mean, you don't need to learn it. It's just fun to know. It might make putting on makeup easier for you. So yeah. Um, again, I didn't go to school, but I did learn about these things, um, with, you know, when I was teaching my kids, cause I've been homeschooling since my, let me see. My son was about five, six. And he's 18 now. So that's, I've been homeschooling for 12 years. Um, so yeah, just things that you should know. Get, if you want, you know, to learn, you know, use a, the color wheel. Um, yeah, I heard this very, very famous makeup artist say, if you mix it, if you add yellow to your purple, you're going to get a, a warm purple. No, if you add yellow to your purple, you're going to get brown. And even browns have cool tones and warm tones. Some browns have more, because of, in order to get brown, you need to mix the three primary colors or a primary and a secondary color. Um, that's how you're going to get brown. But if you put more blue in your brown, it's going to be a cool brown. If you put more orange or red or yellow in your brown, you're going to get a warmer brown. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, these are really cool. Um, it's a really cool thing to have to learn. You know, it might help you with your get doing your makeup.